I hope you enjoyed the uh, Little Billy story. Uh, when I was in the Ozark Mountains, uh, in the one-room schoolhouse, and living around in on Falcons Creek, uh, one of the families I got to know were the Hayes family, and I liked going over to their place. They lived right, their house was right up, up on a cliff overlooking the river called the Hurricane. Well, the Hayes family had a dog, and his name was uh, Claymore, and Claymore, he was a big old black lab, but an old guy by the time I came around, but he was such a good dog, and I enjoyed his company, and so I made up a little song for Claymore, about Claymore, and the song goes like this. share with you this morning is a another finger snapping song and uh, I wrote this song this actually is in my second book Critters Woods and Water up on the old farmhouse where we lived over on Brink Hill Road and of course I think you probably know by now I like to spend a lot of time walking around outdoors and just being outside which I hope you will too or, or you do and so this little song was uh, actually I wrote this it must have been a winter song I guess as you'll see. It's called Sitting Around, and it's a finger-snapping song, and so uh, the chorus goes something like this. Dee-da, 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 dum, da-da, da-da, dee-da, 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 dum, da-da. All right, I'll sing the verses, and then we'll share the chorus. It's called Sitting Around, and it goes like this. Early this morning I went out to see if the critters in the woods would talk to me. I thought I might ask what they had in their house, from the possum to the squirrel to the tiny deer mouse. Squirrels, those squirrels, they ran around. They gathered acorns in the leaves they found. They stuffed their mouths as they jumped to the trees then they turned to bark these words to me mister mister it's a busy day we've gathered some nuts for a dinner say if you come back tomorrow when the sun goes down we'll build a little fire and sit around you sing Da di da di da dum da 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 di da di da di da dum da da. Raccoon, raccoon in an old oak tree, peeking out a hole, looking down at me. 
With a crawdad stuffed in her big white mouth, she called to me from inside her house. Mister, mister, it's a busy day. We've gathered some fish for a dinner. Say, if you come back tomorrow when the sun goes down, we'll build a little fire and sit around. Dee-da, 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 dum, da-da, da-da, dee-da, 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 dum, da-da. Dear mouse, dear mouse in the tall green grass, she scurries about, she can run so fast. With a cricket in her mouth, she could barely speak, so she jumped to a twig, and I heard her squeak. Mister, mister, it's a busy day, I've gathered some beetles for a dinner. Say, if you come back tomorrow when the sun goes down, we'll build a little fire and sit around. You sing, dee da dee da dee da dum da 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 dee da dee da dee da dum da da. Possum, possum hanging upside down from her tail with her nose poking at the ground. With ten little possums dangling by her side, they called to me as they climbed to hide. Mister, mister, it's a busy day. We've gathered some eggs for a dinner. Say, if you come back tomorrow when the sun goes down, we'll build a little fire and sit around. Hit it! Dee-da, 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 dum, da-da, da-da, dee-da, 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 dum, da-da. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the story and the songs in this session. And uh, as a reminder, uh, as a storyteller, uh, the ancient tradition, before I can let you go, I have to share a magic trick. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wand, not just an ordinary wand, of course, it's a magic wand. Now, I've had this for quite some time, as you can see, and the magic, of course, part of this wand that makes it so special is that it's almost perfectly balanced. But, the thing about this wand, this trick that I'm going to share with you is that, because it is almost perfectly balanced. I can perform this trick for you. And the trick is this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to balance this magic stick on my finger, just as I did. And then, on the count of three, I'm going to, while it's balanced, throw it up into the air. It will come down and it will land exactly right back on my finger the way it was when I threw it up. So, please observe. There's no strain, no wire, no trap door, nothing in my hands, nothing up my sleeve. There is something up there. <laughs> How much is questionable. So ladies and gentlemen, please observe you are never going to see this again in your whole life. On the count of three, Rick Rogers, storyteller magician, will throw this balance stick into the air. It will come down and land right where it was. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, missed. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes the magic works. Sometimes it don't.